good afternoon. Welcome to Conversations at Carrie's Corner. I'm Carrie, and I'm welcoming you to our very first podcast. And I'm so incredibly excited to get this new chapter of my social media presence underway and with all of you. I just, it's an exciting, exciting day for me, and I'm thrilled. So, what I wanted to do is give you a little premise about conversations at Carrie's Corner, what it's all about, where we hope to go with this podcast. Uh, the podcast hopefully will be twice a week. Uh, we're going to be adding guests as we go along, which could be you. I would love to get actual community members involved in this podcast because this podcast is a way for us, hopefully, as a nation and as a community to get back together um, to learn how to communicate with each other, to come back to the middle. You know, if you think about the good old days, we think about, you know, that corner store, that corner market, and that corner diner where you could grab a cup of coffee, grab a slice of pie, sit down with somebody that you never have never seen before, you don't know them, you don't know who they are, and have this great conversation and then come away with potentially a new position or a changed position, a new friend, and maybe even a new idea. And conversation, a safe place for conversation, is where true change can start. And that's what this is all about. This is all about us learning as a community to learn to talk to each other calmly, rationally, without aggression, respecting each other's opinions, and hopefully in this process, get back to the middle. So we can start to change the attitude and the division in the United States. It's bad, we've got lots of problems, but I think we can fix those problems. But we've all gotta learn how to talk to each other again. We've lost a lot of that, and a lot of that comes from what happened at COVID uh, because we all became isolated. We all jumped on social media more than we even were before COVID, and we've kind of lost the ability to talk to each other. Now with these fantastic new mediums that are available, we can jump on a Zoom, a Zoom call, and it's like having a conversation with your neighbor, and you are you're divided by a camera, but you still have these great, this great ability to talk to each other. And that's what Conversations at Carrie's Corner is all about. So let me talk to you a little bit about who I am, how I got here, uh, why it's so important for me to start this new venture in my career, um, and just so you can get to know me, and then we will start moving on with uh, our ideas, our challenges, topics that you want to talk about, issues that you want to talk about, and, and everything is on the table here. There's, there's no exceptions with one big one. All, conversa all conversations have to be respectful of each other. You've got to respect the other person's opinion. You can disagree. We, you know, you've got a different opinion than I do, I'm sure. But we've just got to learn to respect those opinions and talk and listen that's how change starts that's how we learn to communicate with with each other and hopefully along the way make new friends potentially change somebody's point of view maybe change my point of view i may come away after a great conversation with somebody and rethink what i was thinking that's how it all works that's the way it should work with respect and with honesty, without aggression. Um, and I think we can do it, and I'm very, very excited to get this process started. This is the first podcast, so let me tell you a little bit about me. I have a very, very different American dream than most people. Um, I came to the United States in uh, the late 60s. Uh, we came here from Australia, my whole family and I. There was five of us, my parents and my two brothers. And um, we came to the United States for my dad's career. My dad is a retired touring professional golfer. And he was also a television commentator. He's a golf course architect. 
and he also has his own very successful podcast for the game. And um, we came here for five years. That was the plan. We were going to come here for five years. Dad was going to get his PGA career underway, and then we were going to go back to Australia. We never did, and we've been here ever since. And I have lived an American dream, but it's a different kind because I grew up on the professional golf circuit with my dad. Um, some of my <laughs> growing up companions were the Nicholas children and the Players children and um, all the rest of the great golfers from that era, Bob Charles, David Graham. Um, there's just so many. Uh, and it was a, di a very different upbringing. My parents were very strict. Um, children are meant to be seen, not heard. And when you speak to somebody, you better speak to them with respect and dignity. And if you didn't, oh boy, you, well, you didn't even want to go there. There was a lot of sacrifices in my family. Most people do not understand what it means to be a professional golfer and the sacrifices that the golfer goes through because they travel sometimes 40, 42 weeks out of the year, and what the family goes through. Because I can remember back on several things growing up, and I was devastated that my dad couldn't be at. My high school graduation, my dad couldn't be at. My prom, so many things that families missed out on, but it was just how it had to be. Because the way for my dad to have a great career was to be out traveling on the professional golf circuit. And it was a wonderful career. It was a wonderful growing up. I had an unbelievable childhood. I've had an unbelievable and blessed life in America. I grew up, uh, we, we came to the United States and we lived in Florida for eight years. Then we moved to Houston because my dad needed a central hub for all of his travels. He also partnered at that point with his partner in the architectural um, design firm that he had where he was designing golf courses. And he's designed hundreds of golf courses all over the world, many of them in the United States. Some of the most prestigious golf courses in the United States are my dad's golf courses. So we lived in a remarkable but very different life, and it was a true blessing. The person that held it all together was my amazing mother. She, t she raised three kids, she ran a household, and she gave my dad every opportunity to have the very best career he could. And the, the old saying that behind every successful man is a strong, confident, wonderful woman, well, my mother was the epitome of that. I lost her two years ago, um, and I miss her terribly. She was my best friend. And her strength, her determination, the fact that they moved 10,000 miles away from their family. We had no support system when we moved here. My parents didn't, and we didn't, and so we were very close. Um, my name is Carrie. It starts with a K. I have an older brother, Kel. starts with a K. I have a younger brother, Kurt. starts with a K. So that's when you see anything from, that's related to me, you're always going to see Ks. Conversations starts with a K at Carrie's Corner. Carrie's Corner is a uh, nod to my mother. Uh, as I was growing up, my mother had a very, very successful business called Carrie's Corner. And I wanted to do something that honors her and what an incredible businesswoman she was. I can laugh now looking back on it. My dad would say, oh my gosh, Gloria, you're making way too much money. You, you got to slow down a little bit. She was dedicated, driven, and she taught me so much, both of them have, on what it's like to be a good person, to respect other people, and everything I have in my life I owe to them. So that's sort of my upbringing. We moved to Texas. I went to high school here in Texas. I started my college career at Sam Houston, and then I went to Texas A&M, but I ended up at the University of Oklahoma. And uh, I got married. Unfortunately, my first marriage did not work out, but we are best friends. We have a fantastic 38-year-old son that is ours together. And uh, the four of us raised 
my oldest son, myself, my ex-husband, my current husband, and my ex-husband's current wife. And we did a fantastic job, but it was not easy at times. Um, my husband and now and I have been married for 30, married 32 years, married uh, together for 35 years, and we have a blended family. Her, my, his, mine, and ours. Our youngest child is our son. So I have an, an older son, a middle daughter, and then a younger son. And I'm very proud of them. My oldest son is a paramedic. He's a first responder, and he should get everything in from this country that he's entitled to because he really is and has been on the front lines. He was on the front lines during COVID, and um, our first responders absolutely need to be taken care of. My daughter is a surgical nurse, so she is in the public arena as well, helping as many people as she can. And my youngest son is a probation officer. I'm very proud of my children and the fact that they are dedicating their lives to helping others. Um, they're making a difference. And so I'm very proud of that. I'm very, very proud of that and the fact that they too are passionate about helping other people and that's what they've chosen for their careers. I have four beautiful grandchildren and I adore all of them. They're eight, six, four, and seven months. Two girls and two boys and I couldn't can be happier and they are the light of my life. Grand, there's nothing like being a grandparent. If you're a grandparent, you know what I'm talking about because there is nothing like it. You get to spoil them, have great times with them, and then say, okay, mom, okay, dad, it's time for you to take over. There's just nothing like it. And they're one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about this. Our children and our grandchildren and their children and their children and on and on, they deserve the same American dream opportunity that you and I have seen and lived and experienced. Don't we owe that to them? I'm pretty sure we do. We as a, as a generation, and I'm talking about the end of the baby boom generation, we've got to do everything we can to make sure that when we are gone, that that next generation has all of the wonderful opportunities that we had, just like our parents have done for us. We owe it to them. We owe it to the next generations to make sure that our America is the America that I had and give them the opportunity for their American dream. Right now, that's a big question mark. I think you'll all agree with me on that. But I think Americans are remarkable, and I think that we can come back together. I think we can be a great, great nation again, but we have got to fix the divide in our nation, or it's going to tear us apart. And then there won't be any, and then we really all will have failed. And I really don't believe we want to fail. I think we want to give our next generations this remarkable thing called the American dream, the life that it is. That's why millions of people come here, because there's nothing else on the planet like it. So it falls to all of us to make sure that we preserve that for our next generations. So I went to college and um, loved college. I studied journalism and marketing. And uh, journalism is definitely one of the subjects that we're going to talk about because I do not approve of how our journalism is done in the United States. As a matter of fact, I don't think there's very many that are actually journalists. I think there's a lot that are propagandists. And that's not acceptable. We need a free market press. We need freedom of speech. But we need professional journalism, which means you must be non-biased. You can't have an opinion as a journalist. You just simply provide the facts. That's what a true journalist does. So we're going to have a really good conversation about that and that's going to be probably in the first two or three because I'm passionate about that. I studied that and I am dismayed with the current media. I'm disgusted with the current media and I am disappointed that they have allowed themselves to be used as a propaganda tool and that's what it is not all of them but most of them 
So I studied that and then I fell into the insurance industry very young in my career. I met a remarkable brand new agent that was starting her, her agency uh, when my husband and I first moved to Oklahoma and I fell in love with the idea of helping people. Um, and I was looking for a career that I would always have security in and insurance is definitely that. People think, oh, it's, you know, insurance, it's so boring. Well, insurance truly changes people's lives. I've seen both sides of having insurance. I'm talking about life insurance here. I've seen it when there's life insurance in place for the family of the lost one. And then I've seen it when there's no insurance in place. And it's not something that I will ever forget. I'm a big believer in it because I feel that we are required to make sure we take care of our business and leave our children our heritage, whatever that is in your world. So life insurance, insurance in general, has been the majority of my career and I have thoroughly loved it. Right now it's challenging because the economy is so challenging and insurance is directly affected by our economy. So that's also going to be another one of our podcasts. We're going to be talking and doing a deep dive into what is going on in our insurance industry. But not too long ago, I decided to open up Carrie's Corner. And Carrie's Corner is a DIY company where we help others save money by helping them do things themselves. The old, good old American way, do it yourself. Keep the money in your pocket. And so I decided to expand that and include this, this podcast. I've uh, been in the insurance industri industry for 43 years. I've been in the DIY industry for about three years and about a year ago I got into uh, the mental wellness business because we all work exhausting hours, we don't rest, we don't recuperate, we all have issues, problems, challenges and so I was introduced to a remarkable company that um, has products that help you and they're all plant-based which was so attractive to me. So I have a distributorship for that too. So, and now I have this podcast, which is Carrie's Corner. And it is in honor of my beautiful mother and my remarkable parents and my family with my brothers. Um, because, because we are all K's, my parents lovingly used to call us the three K's. And that's where all the K's come from. Carrie, Kel, and Kurt, and Carrie's Corner. Conversations at Carrie's Corner, where grab a coffee, pull up a chair, and let's have a good conversation and address the issues that are plaguing our America. We've got a lot, and they need to be addressed. We need to clean house, and we need to get our house back in order. But I believe we can do it. Americans are hardworking, honorable, determined individuals. And with God's help, I think we can get there. Because after all, the United States is one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And I believe that with my whole heart. So I hope you will join me on this wonderful adventure called Carrie's Conversations at Carrie's Corner. And I want to hear from you, too. I want to know, what, what are the challenges in your life? What are the topics that you'd like to discuss? And anything is available. Politics, education, fashion, makeup, career, entrepreneurship, home ownership, having children, having a blended family. Anything and everything is on the table. Because I think it's all a part of the fabric of this America, my America, your America. Let's make sure that we provide the next generations the opportunity to have their own American dream. I certainly have lived one, and now it's time for me to give back. And I pray through this bod podcast I can help bridge the divide that's, that's tearing our nation apart. It breaks my heart. 
when I watch the news and I'm when I hear the anger and the resentment and the aggression and the violence. We've got to stop it. We're better than this. So let's meet at Carrie's Corner and let's have really good conversations, respecting each other's opinions and positions and maybe trying to find a way that we can get back to the middle where change starts. God bless you. God bless these United States of America. And I will see you in my next, next podcast. This is Carrie Devlin Scroggins, and I can't wait for you to join me on this wonderful adventure in conversations at Carrie's Corner. Take care, and I'll see you the next time. God bless.